given a line segment AB, we want to divide it in the ratio of m is to n, where both m and n are positive integers. To help you to understand it, we shall take <coughs> m is equal to 2 and n is equal to, sorry, m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 2. So basically, we are dividing the line in the ratio of 3 is to 2. We are looking at a line segment of any length. As of now, they have not specified what length, but we will take it to be 10 centimeter. So first thing is, how do we do this? See, I'll show you or explain it to you the way we are going to do all the construction topic. First is, we will have a rough idea about what we are going to do the logic behind it, how it works. And then we are going to see the actual video of the construction on a paper with pencil and compass and scale and everything. Then we will revisit the diagram with the steps of construction and try to understand why this works. Mathematical justification. So this is the process for all the construction videos. So let's have a rough idea about how is that we are going to do this. First is draw a straight line, a line segment that is, pick a point, measure 10 centimeter with your scale and mark point B. Now from A draw an acute angle. Right? So this line can be of any length provided it should be a bit, uh, a bit bigger than if not closer to the length of AB itself. Okay, now this is a line which would be your new scale. How? How do we create a scale? As explained before in the other video, we will start off with point A, cut an arc with a compass. With A1 as the new point, cut one more arc of the, with the same length. Then one more, then one more, and one more. Till fifth. So this is A2 a3, a4 and a5 till the fifth point. But why fifth? Why not sixth or you know lesser? Fifth because the entire ratio is to be in the ratio, ratio of 3 is to 2, is it not? The ratio is 3 is to 2. So 3 plus 2 which is the ratio right sum of the numbers in the ratio 3 is to 2 is 5. So till a5 we have to mark. If it was say 3 is to 4 then 7 marking. So this is the first thing you have created your own scale and now next thing is join a 5 to b the last point over here and the last point over here has to be joined next part is the critical one choosing a3 why should we choose a3 why not a4 well the ratio is 3 is to 2 is it not so by if by choosing 3 a 3 we have divided this line in the ratio of 3 is to 2 why how see this entire length is say 3 x why how x well a to a 1 if I consider it as x so this is also x this is also x so this is 3 x and this would be 2 x is it not if this is x this also will be x anyways all of them will be x because we have constructed in that way by choosing a3, I have divided this length in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So we, that's why we have to choose a3. If any other ratio, then we would have chosen some other point. And now you have to replicate or create or draw, not create, or draw a line which is parallel to a5b. And we'll call this as point c. So how is that we are going to replicate this two to be parallel? by using your acute, I mean not acute angle, this angle method. You should draw an arc over here, draw another arc, measure these two points. Let me show that. Measure these two points and from here cut an arc and you'll get another point, something like that. And you just have to join this and you'll get a parallel line. So we'll be doing this. This is where people get confused. So please see that. Please just see this carefully. This will be repeated in the future also because this method is used pretty much in all the questions. So this is going to be repeated, but this has been taught in the basics. Learn from that and also be sure of 
at one go you know don't learn it in the middle so other questions you can only do it if you learn the basics other questions so it's not that difficult so learn this method it's useful for all the questions that is going to come up uh, in this section right okay so let's see this practically how to do it on a paper and please watch it from now so first is i have already drawn a line now i have to measure 10 cm and draw an arc so the best way to do is expand your compass hold the compass at zero and start pressing it at the other end as you can see this would be 10 cm So that is point B. So from point A, any angle doesn't matter, but don't keep it very close. Or try to draw it around 40, th between 30 and 45. Any length doesn't matter, but again, keep it a bit long only. So I'm checking if I can divide this line into five sections, five parts. So please understand from here, you need to keep on drawing arcs. So that will be your A1. Okay. From that, from that point, you need to draw another arc. Since you are doing, we are doing it for the first time. So I'm showing it slowly, marking and everything. You need not mark all of this point in this way. During an exam, you might not get time. That is your A2. So from A2, you will get A3. So marking like this is useful, helpful, but don't do it all the time. That is your A4. And last we have A5. If you have time, you can do all of this in a neat manner, but key points you have to mark. Like A5 is important. So you mark A5. Point A and B is important. Okay, see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So join A5 and B. A5 and B. I always, you know, be sh uh, make sure that I'm doing it right. Because this construction, this topic construction, it needs things to be very accurate. Like a lot accurate. Okay, now the one which confuses a lot of people replicating the angle first is draw an arc please concentrate first is draw an arc from a5 then go to a3 that is 0 1 2 3 please go to a3 from a3 we need to draw the same arc right same radius you you supposed to be keeping the compass the same way so at from a5 draw an arc my compass is not that sharp huh. so it's very important for us to make a note of the radius remains the same arc length right so it remains the same and now make a note of the points where the arc, arc is cutting those two lines So your scale and the line joining the extreme points. So those two points are very critical. We are going to measure them. And the same thing we are going to mark. See, basically that length, using that length, if I mark from not A, see that's not A2. That is where the arc is intersecting the line. From there I'm marking. Okay, please understand that. Right? Not A2. So that is your second point. From A3, remember we started all of this with A3, right? The arc and everything. So from A3, join and you have a parallel line. See? Is it not? Okay, so I'm showing you guys the angle. 
if those two angles are equal then they are parallel right those two lines are parallel so this is a uh, sorry not a 76 or 7 77 and this is so i realized that we are not able to measure it clearly because of the tape so i extended the line this is not compulsory it's only for you guys to understand over here that's it so you can clearly see it's around 76 77 that's come good plus or minus a bit is okay don't think too much this is good enough and now the final thing measuring the line so the entire thing is 10 and you can see it is 6 and 10 0 6 and 10 so this was at 0 this was at 6 and this was at 10 so this entire length is 6 centimeter and this entire length is 4 centimeter so 6 by 4 is what 3 by 2 in the simplest form and that's what we wanted right so let's recap whatever we just did with the help of steps of construction draw and ray ax so first thing is we already have drawn ab by the way of 10 centimeter so this is as per the uh, exam oriented answer okay your textbooks so you just have to write this much this is the common frame for all such constructions so please understand that you don't need to write anything extra don't waste your time because this is what they're given and you guys write only that much so drawing ab of 10 centimeter is not spoken of so that is okay draw an arc ax making an acute angle with ab so that's your ax so this is your ray ax locate five points a1 to a5 <clears throat> so how did i get this five because we have three plus two that's five so locate five points and by the way three is to two we got it from the ratio if you don't guys if you guys didn't realize that we got it from the ratio the numerator and the denominator so locate five points a1 to a5 on ax such that the distance between the between any not the between any neighboring points are equal so this is a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 join b a5 through the point a3 because m is 3 okay over here draw a line parallel to a5 b by making an angle equal to angle a a5 b right so we are replicating this angle over here at a3 intersect a b at the point c so we have this as your c then a c is to c b is 3 is to 2 so you can change the language a bit if you guys want but this is the common frame and if you are not comfortable we can shut off by writing draw the line segment AB of length 10 centimeter and all of that. So you can stop start with that statement and go on writing this. So this is good enough for this particular construction. Okay. Now, how does this work? Justification is also there. This is not the final answer. So how does this work? Have you heard of basic proportionality theorem? Yes, no. So what does it tell? If we have a triangle, say A, A5, B, and if we happen to draw a line parallel to, say, A, A5, B, this is uh, A3. So if I happen to draw a line from A3 parallel to A, A5, not A, A5, sorry, A5, B, then it will divide this line a3 let us call this as c it will divide a b in the ratio of whatever the ratio is happening over here so here the ratio is 3 is to 2 i explained why so the same ratio will be over here 3 is to 2 right so this is nothing but your bpt is it not so this is nothing but your b p t v p t 
So how do you write the answer though? This is explanation part. Now let's write the answer. Consider triangle A, A5, B as A, 3C is parallel to A5B. This is not, huh? As A3C is parallel to A5B. Yes. This implies A, A3 by A3, A5 will be equal to AC by ACB. C by CB. Why? As per your basic proportionality theorem. Thus, AC by CB will also be equal to 3 is to 2. Reason? Quite simple. A, A3 by A3, A5 is equal to 3 is to 2 by construction. That's it. So that's your justification. Quite simple, is it not? Main thing is you just write BPT, you're pretty much done. Everything else is, you know, just a write up. Okay, for this particular question, this is the way to go about doing it, one of the ways. This is the steps of construction. You guys can pause and have a look. And justification. Please enroll to our program at chalkpiececademy.com wherein we'll be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification calculation, uh, DIY projects, we'll code with Python, we'll work with Arduino Uno, there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it. There are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better. We'll have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams. It's very cost effective. There would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this.